I became a business owner, frankly, because I'm not very good at being an employee. Um, I, I kind of break a lot of molds and a lot of rules. So, uh, so for me, being a business owner, I think first and foremost gives me that flexibility, gives me the, um, yeah, the ability to kind of do things my way, which has always kind of like been a little against the grain. Even more than the money and more than doing things my way, I like making things happen. And uh, I feel like I have a lot more freedom and the more kind of the more successful I become, the more I can play around with ideas and making stuff happen that I might not have otherwise been able to do. I think what makes our experience uh, you know, you could say unique, I guess, um, is, you know, I think the services we offer, um, we do a good job at, and uh, we have experienced, well-trained barbers. And so I think first and foremost, the product that you're getting at my shop um, sets itself apart. We, you know, we're thorough with our service, but um, I think a lot of people just like a place that they're just gonna come in, sit down, you know, have a beer, get a haircut, and it's nothing special. You know, when I, I think when I first opened, I wanted to be at that, that unique, special place that was doing something that no one else was doing in town. But, um, but I, I don't think that, I don't think that as a barber shop we're doing anything amazing. We're, we're just a barber shop, and it's a, it's a consistent, thorough service. And I think that a lot of, um, a lot of my barber's individuality kind of sets us apart too. We don't have a mold, we don't have specific rules that I require my barbers to follow. Everyone represents and, and brands and conducts their business in their own way. You know, I consider Rooks a, a very real shop. It's kind of down to earth, you know, there's no dress code. You, you're gonna come, you're gonna see us how we would be if we weren't in the shop. You know, we're wearing a t-shirt, jeans, whatever. And, um, you know, we just try to do, uh, we just try to do our service in the best way we could with our training. Um, sometimes you're going to get an attitude, you know, it, it happens. I mean, we're people and we're real people. And, and I think that probably is what sets us apart is like the realness at Rooks. Certainly in the beginning, the passion for, for barbering and for men's grooming. And there, there wasn't really a scene behind that, the kind of the barber renaissance that we know of nowadays, it was just kind of about to take off when I opened Rooks. I think the barber culture initially started thriving in the past several years because of um, <clears throat> a couple shows that were on like Mad Men and Boardwalk Empire. I think it just brought into the kind of the limelight like, you know, men's fashion. Although I like to put focus on quality haircuts, I don't believe that knowing how to cut is your most important tool as a barber. Portland's always been a cool city for a number of reasons. It, it used to have a lot more like small town feel, but I think, um, you know, socially it's super liberal. Um, even politically, it's, you know, it's got a very liberal tone to it. Um, uh, Portland's often been like a pioneer of a lot of uh, things that have now kind of spread, you know, food carts, um, weed, you know, le being legal, um, a lot of good breweries and stuff here. It's just a good culture. It's really good for, um, for entrepreneurship. Um, people coming, a lot of people from the East Coast, for example, come here, like myself, come here and they're able to, they're able to like uh, flourish in, in their endeavors because it, it becomes, uh, it's just become a very easy city to do business in. So one reason I switched to Squire initially was because the system I was using before, well, for one, crashed all the time their servers were, were always going down. So we'd be offline all day and that's a huge, for us, I mean, you know, 80% of our business is booked online. To have a system that doesn't currently, or it doesn't consistently drop offline and their servers shut down. So when I first started talking to Squire, I, you know, I knew that their servers were shared with Amazon servers and that's, that was a big drive for me because uh, I need a consistent server. I need the service to always be up. And uh, so far it has not never crashed. But um, the ability to manage multiple locations on it um, was a big deal for me. Uh, with my previous software, I was kind of, I was kind of pulling some, some strings and kind of doing things the way they weren't supposed to be done in order to facilitate multiple locations. But yeah, Squire's made it really easy. Um, it's really intuitive and so it's easy to, you know, jump back and forth between 
shops or between services or if I need to add a barber or add a service or change a price or take a day off or schedule someone last minute. It's, it's very easy to just jump on and do it. And um, you know, I was with them before they, they started working in the apps and, and everything else that they've introduced since. And um, it, it's been a good system all around for, uh, you know, I can imagine for one location it's, it's even easier. But um, it's, definitely, it's definitely helped me keep everything kind of streamlined and uh, yeah, it makes operating multiple locations easy. My name is Justin King and uh, I'm the owner of Rook's Barbershops in Portland, Oregon.